Hiya, you all right? I just thought I'm going to go and make some tea. And I wasn't going to show you. And I thought, no, I will. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just making a chicken curry with some chickpeas in. Nothing special, just... It's the one I've got in my cupboard curry, that's what it is. I've got my new favourite apron on, keeping myself clean. So I've chopped an onion, I'm going to chop some chicken thighs. And really it is just made from the spices that I've already got in the cupboard and what I've already had in the fridge. I've got a finely chopped onion, frying in some oil with half a teaspoon of salt. I've got a kilo of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. You can leave them whole or you can cut them up. I'm going to cut them up. I've chopped these chicken thighs into pieces. Yes, I've washed my hands and I know you don't need me to tell you to wash your hands. Add that to the, to the frying onion. And it goes. To that, put in one teaspoon of turmeric. This will give it a nice yellow colour. Two teaspoons of garam masala. That's Ian, he's just coming from work, he's put the kettle on. I'll have a cup of tea as well. Two teaspoons garam masala and one teaspoon ground coriander. I can't stand leafy coriander but I like ground coriander. Squirt in a good tablespoon of tomato puree. Grate in three cloves of garlic. I found a chilli in the back of the fridge so I've chopped it. That's going in. If you haven't got a chilli, use dried chillies or a teaspoon of chilli powder. That's just as good. Or chilli paste if you've got the paste. And my new favourite, is it a herb, is it a spice? I think it's a herb. Fenugreek. It's got like an earthy flavour to it. I think it's a, it is in butter chicken and I like the flavour of it so a teaspoon of that goes in as well. Now just stir it all together. It is a bung it all in and get it done curry. I'm going to fry it all off. Cook it out like this for five minutes. Pour in a tin of plum tomatoes. A tin of water. Just break those tomatoes up a bit. I've got a bag of frozen spinach. It's really economical to use this because you get a lot of spinach in that bag. There's about four cubes there. It's frozen together. Putting that in. Along with some chickpeas that I've rinsed and drained. Stir it in. This will just defrost in there. That's literally it. We're just going to bring it up to a simmer, put a lid on it and leave it for about 45 minutes. If you want to use chicken breast, you absolutely can. I'm making this now to reheat later and chicken thighs are better for that. If you've got no fenugreek, don't worry about it. If you don't want spinach in, don't worry about it. If you don't want chickpeas, don't bother about them. You do you. Put in what you like to put in a curry. If you like some peppers in there, chuck them in. Chuck some peas in at the end. You can put some frozen green beans in there if that's what you've got. If you want to use some frozen veg, you do you. As long as you've got your initial spice ingredients there, your onion, your garlic, your garam masala, what else did we use? Your turmeric and your ground coriander, your chilli. You've got your base. You do with that what you want. I'm just going to chuck a cheeky chicken stock pot in there as well. Oh. I'm just going to fish it out. Lid on. I'm going to leave that to blip away. I'll check it in 20 minutes, give it a stir. I'm going to have my brew. It's had 20 minutes, I'll just give it a stir. And for the final 20 minutes, simmer it with the lid off and that'll just thicken the sauce. Ice cream man's been. I'll have to finish this before before I finish that curry off. I love a 99. Okay, this looks ready now. That sauce has thickened up nicely. Just warming a chipati up. Let's dish up.
How lovely, it smells amazing. Let's have a taste. Honestly, it smells lovely. Let's give it a taste. It's hot. Nice. Chicken's just falling apart. Chicken breast wouldn't take very kindly at being simmered for 45 minutes. I think chicken thighs are better for this. Mm. That is good. It's not too hot as in spice hot. I only put one chilli in, but if you like it hotter, put two in. But it's really tasty, so tasty. Chapati. Bit of Greek yogurt's nice as well. Oh, that hot. I mean, give this a go. I mean, is this the simplest curry that I've shown you? I'm not sure, but it's simple. It's super tasty, give it a go. Perfect for a simple Saturday night tea. And cheaper than a takeaway. That'll do four good portions with leftovers. Thank you to everyone that's ordered these aprons so far. There's, I didn't tell you last time, but there's a two week wait because they're made to order. So, I've, I've sent the order off. It, hopefully it'll be quicker than two weeks and you won't wait that long. Um, but they've told us that's how long it could take. So that order's been put in, so they're all on their way. Thank you everyone who's bought the books and the calendars. I'm super chuffed with the calendars. And in case you were wondering, the calendar recipes are all new recipes. They're not the same as the book, so they're all new. So have a great day, have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves, have something nice for tea. Hopefully make this, have this for tea, but I shall see you soon. Don't forget to like, follow and share. That way you're always going to see me and keep up to date with what's happening and what I'm cooking. I shall see you soon. Bye bye.